Yo, what's up? It's your boy Mega Cisco. <clears throat> Just want to say, I want a big thank you to the Hilst family for getting me this wonderful Tyranitar. Hey, bite, bite, bite. Yes, it is a Tyranitar, and I love it. It is the best. <laughs> It's like life size too. It's like almost as big as your screen. So, meh. Look at that. It's super effective at my heart. <laughs> Thank you, Hills family, for getting me this wonderful Tyranitar. I love it. Thank you, Renee, for this beautiful Pikachu pillow when I get sleepy and uh, hopefully my, you know, just. I just want to sleep now because it's so cute. It's so cute. Sleeping now. All right, and a little Charmander I got myself at a uh, Dave & Buster's. Free publicity for you, woo. All right, well anyway, I'm gonna keep this up here because Tyranitar is the highlight of the show today. Has been for a while, for a long time, but yeah, I just wanna talk to you about my three-man Mewtwo attempt on Sunday, and it was successful. We, uh, me, Narninio, and AK Sithion, we did that. That was awesome. And let's just zoom to some of the footage of that and the breakdown of the battle. Ooh. So I went in with this lineup. Interesting, Mew, Mewtwo, and four Tyranitar. I went with Mew because I thought it would have Focus Blast and it would be an actual good counter to Focus Blast. So I'm dodging these Hyper Beams just to get more use out of the Mew. I really want to just like try it out and see this little, you know, Pokemon the movie remix, you know, but in Pokemon Go. Well, there goes Mew. And now it's Mewtwo. Mewtwo is Shadow Ball. So Mewtwo is Shadow Ball is going to put non-effective damage on Mewtwo, except for the Shadow Ball. But Tarantar is always going to be number one, even if you have like Focus Blast Mewtwo, uh, you'd want to have like a T-Tar team for your A team. Just go in, faint, and have a B team of like um, Gengar, Mew with Shadow Claw, Dark Pulse, and a whole bunch of dragons. Rayquaza, you know, they're just good DPS and they'll resist. Rayquaza, Dragonite, they'll resist. Um, Focus Blast because it's flying and Focus Blast is a fighting move. So around this time I'm getting scared I'm on my last Pokemon and I'm just taking my time. I should have deleted the other room potions up there so I can go right back into it. Didn't let Mew back in. I went Mewtwo and then the Tarantars. Should have just let the Tarantars go because it was just Hyper Beam. But we got it at 20 seconds and it was a good feeling. The Mewtwo I ended up getting was, eh, it was alright. But I got it, got it good, and, you know, like I said, there's no such thing as a bad Mewtwo. Ideally, you'd want it to have 15 attack to take advantage of its massive attack stat, but a Mewtwo is still good. Remember that. All right, let me just gush more about Tyranitar and three-man three man raids. If you look at it, Tyranitar has like two ideal charge movesets. You always want to have Bite if you're going against Mewtwo. But at level 27.5, Bite does seven damage. Like just chomp, 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 seven, 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 all the time. You have to get, if you just get a Tarantar to level 27.5 that has 14 or 15 attack IVs, you're golden. That's all you have to power it up to, and it's a, it's a fantastic counter. Another thing, it has Stone Edge and Crunch. Those would be the best movesets if you don't have the TMs to, like, if you have Stone Edge, cool, because you have 100 damage going at it, but because it's, you know, same type attack bonus, bonus you're doing 120 damage for a full bar. That's where Crunch comes in. It's awesome because you get its base 70 attack times 1.2 for the same type attack bonus times 1.4 for the 
for the super effective bonus. So you're doing 117.6, well round down because the game doesn't really round up. 117 points of damage for a little slice of that three bar move. So good, you want that. So yeah, I headbang. Go Tyranitar, go, 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 go. <clears throat> but Mew is a solid counter uh, for Focus Blast. I was hoping for Focus Blast so we could fail and see what we did wrong and see if like a Dragon moveset would go well against it. But we ended up with Hyper Beam and a, you know can't really control what your Mewtwo has. So um, if we do get a Focus Blast one, I would love to have Mew in there. Again, I spent... 17 fast TMs and 34 charge TMs to get Shadow Claw, Dark Pulse. Shadow Claw, no matter how good or bad your Mew is, if you get it to level 40, you know, it's cheaper if, uh, you know, you have a better, you know, attack IV one, but it will do eight damage to Mewtwo each fast attack and Shadow Claw is quick. The thing is with Dark Pulse, it only does 80 damage and it's dark, but Mew doesn't get the same type attack bonus with it. So you're just getting a solid 80 damage with Mew. But again, if it had Focus Blast, it would resist fighting attacks, especially Focus Blast, which I hope to get the next Tyranitar, I mean Mewtwo, have another raid coming up next Monday. So hopefully it does and I'm looking forward to the challenge. Yes. So all good things. Got a second pass and it was kind of cool to see the, I have two passes in my box. So, uh, <laughs> this is so cool. I don't know, man. It's peanut butter jello time. But it's also time for me to go. Uh, I want to say thank you to Narninio and AK Sithion for doing the Mewtwo Raid Trio with me at 20 seconds. We got it, whoop whoop. So, uh, yeah, you guys take care, as always be excellent, and see you next time.